morning it is 5th of december and the first news of the day is that the christmas tree survived overnight it didn't fall over or anything the only thing that happened was one of the branches got bent over because cats were trying to get the balls or something which is still a big deal because there's like what, four branches in the tree and if one of them was gone like the tree doesn't look good anymore so i don't know what to do i guess i guess i need to look into getting like a citrus spray or something i remember someone saying that cats hate that stuff so if there's like anything that they scratch or anything that they try to mess up in any other way like this christmas tree just spray it with some citrus stuff and they'll just leave it alone in other news i'm quite puffy today and it's almost been a month since my jaw surgery which is quite fun i think i talked about it more yesterday so i'm planning to ask on the jaw surgery group what's going on with that with that thing um the stitches not stitches but the place where the gown's been put together because it's really disturbing it's like it's proper disturbing me i really want to know whether that's gonna go away and if that's the case like when is it going to go away it is really weird feeling all of that um so i'll probably ask people about that and one more thing i recently oh, <laughs> i recently found a really good joe youtube channel I, that i enjoy watching and it's just great finding stuff like that it is such a good i don't know it just makes me happy finding people who are openly talking about their experience without being scared without without thinking oh what are people going to think about me you know being like brutally honest about how they feel about the jaw surgery process and being themselves i feel i feel it's such a great thing to be watching and yeah i obviously always welcome honesty because i'm myself trying to be as honest as i can because you know we're all going through the same shit so why lie about it you know We're almost halfway through the Sunday, the last day of um, like the weekend is almost over and I want to say that I've been worrying so much this weekend about my my work that it almost took over the whole weekend. You know when you think you're doing your best and you are just doing everything possible to succeed at work with, with the accounts that you're managing and then, and then the clients have their own agendas and their own problems that are kind of disturbing all of your efforts and uh, you just end up being at a loss because you feel like you're doing your best but then again there's so many roadblocks here and there and it's like tracking issues and then you can't measure the performance correctly and you know and then the client is like so like what else can we do what else can we do well there's truly nothing else you can do until you fix your stuff on your own, until the line and everything. And it just essentially what I'm writing out about is that there's something at work that I'm struggling to fix. And to me, I'm doing my absolute best. And then it just doesn't do it, you know? It just doesn't do it. And it's, um, it's frustrating. It's a bit challenging, which is good, but more more frustrating i guess and it sucks it sucks because you know you want to get a good result you you want this project to be a success and then when it's not i'm just like what the fuck can i do what else can i do it's um it's really my job is the type of job where you can get as creative as you can be with with stuff you can like that's why i love it so much you know you don't come to work and do the same thing over and over again like a robot no you have an account that you can just grow in very many possible areas that you feel will be beneficial and then you can look at data from like thousands of angles and you can make decisions based on that there's so much to it and it's interesting every day is interesting every day is different and i love it the creativity that it brings out to you with the statistical analysis the 
like everything um I, I just love so much and when stuff doesn't go as well as you thought it would i truly take it to heart it bothers me a lot um so that's that's been my weekend so far i've also noticed that i'm not filming as much these days compared to the last 23 days <laughs> obviously because there's less content to film less dressing related content and i guess that's why people stop filming after like one month um post up but i'm trying to figure out what i'm going to do with this channel i definitely don't want to be stopping vlogging because it it helps me it motivates me to do things being on cam having that extra responsibility having that extra pressure you know of me saying something and sticking to the promises that I make so it's definitely making a huge difference to my life vlogging so i'm thinking i'll be 29 soon i'm approaching 30 um and i'm that person that is project oriented if you I, I really want to like achieve things and really like doing things i really like pushing myself i want to figure out all the stuff that i want to to do before i turn 30 and maybe i'll just cover all of that stuff on camera me turning 30 mm. we will also be getting a dog so uh, <laughs> that will be really awesome to like get on cam as well i mean life happens a lot of things happen and i've noticed that even though sometimes my days feel really empty and they feel like nothing truly happens when i feel when i push myself to film some stuff my thoughts or whatever is happening around me i don't know it's just looking back at it it feels like oh wow that's been an amazing day and i when i lived it i i don't think i realized that i'm not sure if i'm making any sense definitely don't want to be stopping vlogging and <laughs> yeah that's all i got for now I haven't. I haven't had a squeak like that. Yeah, she probably said stuff. <laughs> Isn't it the cutest thing on earth? Okay, you probably can't see Lyra, but Lyra is here and Leonard is here, all next to my radiator, warm enough. And me is there as well, she needs to come over. Well, you guys, it's December the 7th and oh, it's getting so cold, like I'm literally freezing my ass off and my room is the coldest fucking room in the house and it's, oh, it's awful, I keep like, I'm sitting on the heater literally. It's like I can't deal with cold weather. It just makes me so depressed and I can't function and it's just too much. And I'm wearing 10,000 layers and it's not enough. So that sucks. What also sucks is the fact that I'm getting a pain back and it hurts. 
it hurts so much so that's on my list of things to complain about today apart from the fact that i'm just really demotivated and like all over the place today but check out my sweating the puffiness is going down i'm not i don't think i am as puffy as i was last week but i'm not sure i don't know keep getting less pain but i'm like oh then i guess off and on to cork will fix that and i just can't wait for it to get fixed because i feel so stupid when, when i get this lispiness it's really annoying and frustrating but yeah that that's the update something fucked up is going on and i'm freaking out about it a bunch i've noticed it yesterday and i was like okay if it's one off it's like whatever but if there's any instances of it happening again i'll be worried so it did happen again and i'm freaking out so basically as i was having food as i was chewing stuff a little bit comes from called chewing you know i was just trying to chew so to speak anyway as i was doing that something came out of the place where it was supposed to be or like got back to where it was supposed to be <laughs> i know that this this explanation make no sense at all but i don't know how else to describe it i was eating something yesterday i was trying to eat something today as well and yeah it just felt like oh man it feels like something is shifting you know it feels like something shifting back and forth i wish i could fucking tell you what, what, what exactly happened i can't i literally have no words to to, to describe it it's it's really messed up and if it, if it continues to happen i need to see the surgeon but for now i'm guessing i need to take it extremely slow i'm not going to even try like chewing anything and what i mean by chewing is it means just me putting a teeny tiny piece of bread between my teeth but not like chewing it not biting anything off but just putting it so it kind of melts so to speak i don't know I, i'm not making any sense today really hope that nothing is going to shit because that would be fucked up <laughs> that would be so fucked up and so it happened <laughs> i feel so ugly today i feel ridiculously ugly i feel like the changes that were made to my face are like crooked i feel like everything is not aligned i'm like in a such a mood and now editing this video is that i filmed recently i'm like fixating on the fact that my jaws may be like all over the place and it fucking sucks to to feel this way i really i really feel like shit right now and i just hope that it's just all of it is in my head and it's not real but also i've noticed that i started to recognize how fucked up i used to look from the side when i was smiling before and it just doesn't sit right with me because it feels like i've been crazy ugly my whole life and i didn't even know that and now that things have changed a bit that information still is hair and like i know that it was that way and it's weird that it never occurred to me it's weird that i never truly noticed i i, I never looked at myself from the side and me today feeling like crap about myself is there's a bigger thing that um i'm starting to notice other things stuff like me having like fat hair and like i don't know like all of that shit that you shouldn't be thinking about it doesn't it never bothered me ever and all of a sudden with this jaw surgery process and with this with me editing and seeing myself um talk and be the way i am it's just weird everything's fucking weird a month since my jaw surgery and oh, it's been pretty stable as you know uh, i did have a really awful day yesterday and today i'm like why didn't you feel that way like it's just the it doesn't matter nothing matters all that matters is that after the jaw surgery i do know that 
my looks improved by, by about 5%, 10% and it's good enough. It's really good enough. I, what did I expect myself to look like a fucking model first off? No. Did I, like I got everything I wanted out of it and now it's all about reducing the puffiness and moving on with my life which i am trying to do i know that people experience a shit ton of um moments when they dislike themselves post up or when they don't recognize themselves or when they regret their decisions like that whole mix of negative things that people go through is awful with me i was like ah oh, i don't look good at all like jaw surgery non jaw surgery like i just fucking hated everything yesterday and today i don't care and i like to be in this mode i think it's a healthy mode and yeah i can't believe it's been a month it's gone quite fast i'm still eating my soups and i really don't mind i sleep really well um i am trying to sleep on my side but when i do i try not to put any pressure on my jaws i have an orthodontic appointment tomorrow when they will be changing my wire making it a bit stronger on the bottom lower jaw to make it wider to match my upper i didn't get any clicking things anymore because i kind of stopped chewing not chewing but you know what i mean nothing hurts the throbbing pain that i mentioned once never came back so that's good i am still not blowing my nose by the way you guys someone said that they blew their nose like a month after their surgery and they started to bleed a lot and i'm like it's not like i'm scared of it i just don't want it and, I, and it also is kind of painful when i don't know because i had septoplasty um i'm feeling it i'm just feeling that something is there so I don't, I don't blow my nose at all. I've noticed that sometimes when I take pictures, I know that this area of my face is semi-numb. I think it's getting better and better every, every day, but it's still numb. So when I smile, this part is not like fully opened up. <laughs> so maybe it's not noticed. It's such a minor fucking thing, but when you do get in the zone where you hate your life for yourself everyone around you everything matters every little fucking thing matters today is one month post up and i feel good about everything i'll be taking you with me tomorrow to my orthotic appointment and yeah maybe i'll film some stuff today later today as well